now. As we've learned, the home that police say was used by a serial killer is owned by the city of Detroit. The home sits on Mack Avenue near Mount Elliott, and it's where the body of Tammy Jones was found last week. Yeah, it was also where a woman was attacked days earlier. Let's get right up to Sean Lay, who's asking why the city left the home wide open and in such a dangerous state, Sean. They're the landlords, the city planning and development uh, department. They're the ones who owns this home behind me. You can see it's since been boarded up since these awful crimes have occurred. But tonight there are strong calls from so many out here impacted by this for the city to tear down this house of pain. A message of love for the latest victim of the Detroit serial killer, Tamara Jones, known as Tammy. Her body was found in this vacant home on Mac near Mount Elliott last Wednesday, just days before this woman was also forced into the same house. She says by suspected serial killer, D'Angelo Martin. He looked like a monster. She says Martin demanded sex from her. And when she refused, she says he attacked. He choked me. Oh, he choked me. He choked me so bad. He choked me. And I must have passed out. Because when I woke up, I was in the house and he was still on top of me. She fought back, stabbing Martin. She says that's why he has a bandage on his face when he was caught. Now she's back to look at this house that symbolizes so much pain. I'm afraid, still afraid. I wish they'd tear the house down. The city of Detroit owns this house. The city left it wide open. Mayor Duggan is pushing for a $200 million bond to pay for more vacant home demolitions. The daughter of Tammy Jones tells me that's not good enough right now. The city's response? I would say that she's right. The urgency is now. I mean, when you look at what we're doing, we're taking down houses at a rate you know, four times faster than anybody else in the country. We are moving as quickly as we can right now. We want to go even faster, and we know that it's not enough. I want it gone. It need to be gone. That woman was attacked inside this home. She wants the home to come down. I also had a long conversation on the phone with the daughter of Tammy Jones. She says she can barely breathe since news broke about this, about her dear mother. Says she's just taking things hour by hour, but she too tonight calling on the city to bring this home down. It's just too painful to look at it. Also, there'll be a vigil for Tammy Jones here, uh, near here, Saturday evening. We'll have that covered for you. The daughter has also put up a GoFundMe page to help with burial costs. It's on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Kimberly Devin, back to you. Sean, what's the latest with the case? Has it expanded at all? hasn't expanded. What's happening is we continue to see those crews led by Detroit police officers. They all have lists of homes. They've got to go clear and then another crew comes behind and boards up. Those crews tell me the story, the, the situation could change any moment. They're, they don't know what they're going to find when they go in these homes. Yeah. All right. Keep us posted, Sean.